What's up guys, Devin here from Watch Chat Play and Analog Edition and I am going to take you through a little bit of what I've experienced so far in No Man's Sky. Um, First impressions are it's a very it's a very big game. There's a lot of instructions. There's a lot of you figuring out what does what, how you do it. Um, figured out how to sprint, how your booster pack works. I I need to replenish my uh, mining beam, which is this little weapon that I would be able to use, but I can't because it's depleted. But I did find out that I can just run around and start punching stuff. But the problem with that is the world has its own little sentry system to protect it and i've already been destroying so much that the planet hates me so i mean i get that what's that so um that's kind of the hardest part about this that i've seen so far is that you're trying to find what you need And there's just not a whole lot of uh it's not that there's not enough instruction it would just be nice if there was kind of like more of a step by step like hey you need to do this and then you need to do this it just seems a little too vast right now uh not to say that i don't like it it's just kind of hard to get into um so my life support system the exosuit that i'm wearing is not that great my system uh my ship is all jacked up so i am trying to do the best I can beam action to get what I need and I hear him I feel the sentries I always feel like somebody's watching me um, one of the first things I had to do was fix my scanner um, so the L3 trigger that triggers your scanner uh, that's gonna be invaluable just finding where everything is around you and going to harvest it How's it inventory full? Can I upgrade my scanner? That'd be nice. All right. Um, so like right now, my ship. We'll look at my ship real quick. Um, the first thing that I noticed is kind of the planet looks really cool, very alien in type. But when I went into the menu, it is very Destiny in style. Um, every this is exactly what I remember from Destiny. You go into your menu, it's got all these little blocks, and then when you have your little icon go over it, there's another little menu that pops up. Um, it looks and feels exactly like Destiny did, even the way that it makes a little notification sound when you go to each little box. So it's interesting. Um, they probably will tweak that in future updates, but right now, I mean, it's it'll work, I guess. So my launch thruster, the way that I fly my ship is completely broken, so I need to build the karite sheets, and I have to find the inventory to make that. And then my pulse engine is also jacked up, so I have a lot of stuff to build for that one, a lot of stuff to find. I haven't even found heridium yet. I haven't found zinc yet. Um, with this, uh, I don't really like, oh cool. Cool. Well, I mean, I'm figuring this out as I go. So you have all these little gears, and that lets you craft. So if you hit square when you're in the menu, it brings out your craft items, which is kind of neat. So, so I can move and stack these. Maybe. Move and stack. OK. Well, can I build that now? Okay, so my launch thruster is good to go. So I need two sheets and I need some zinc. So let's do that. So that's good. Can I make zinc or do I have to mine it? Probably mine it. I don't know what I need that for. Micro density fabric. All right. Yeah, cool. I've completed one good thing. So scanners are good. My mine gun is good. My thrusters are good. So now I need to go find zinc. Uh, 
I did find out early on that if you just use your boosters and just blast up to the sky and then fall, um, you won't die, but you'll get hurt pretty hardcore. What this is? Silicate. I don't want that. I want zinc. That's what I want. Oh, cool. So that's how you get health. It's oxide. It's carbon. Like with any game, the first several, I don't know, hours are just you trying to figure out how to interface with the world in a way that makes sense. I... It'll be nice once I spend enough time with this to really figure out how to how to use everything like quickly and you know in, intuitively. Oh, cool! What's up, dude? What are you? Don't run, little buddy. I like you. Let's be friends. And I will name you Keith, and you'll be mine, and you'll be my Keith. I don't want to. I don't want to kill you. I thought I could like name animals and all right, whatever. I don't care. So there's some stuff up here apparently. What's that? So aluminum. I wonder if I could just like dig into the, I don't know. No, can't just dig, all right, well, you never know. Well, if I could find heridium, I'd be all about it, but I can't find any of the isotopes that I need. But let's go look down here. Um, the booster pack is kind of nice. It saves you from dying to death. So that's oxide, that's neutral. I haven't really been attacked by anything except for the uh, sentries, which I guess is my fault because I'm destroying their world. Well, what do I do about life support power? Where's that? Um, I don't know. Tell me what my problem is, but don't tell me how to fix it. That doesn't help me. Uh, oh, okay. So you have to charge your life support. You happy now? Cool. So you have to constantly be mining to keep yourself alive even. That's kind of interesting. Oxide, oxide. The world looks pretty cool. I mean, all the isotopes and everything. And your gun will overheat like any good gun. So iron for days, and now I'm stuck down here. Um, okay. So I, like I wish that there were waypoints or something like that kind of, like the beginning part is almost too open where there's a little bit of explanation, but it's a lot of you just really trying to grind through it and figure out what it wants you to do. Um, Cause like it wants me to gather 200 more heridium. Okay. But where is heridium? Okay, so there's iridium deposit. Is that a trunk? No, oh, no. Mr. Isotopes. No. So you have a stamina bar, so you can't just go running. You figure if you were an astronaut, you'd be in a little bit better shape, but hey. This game is a lot of you just running around. I wonder if going forward you can unlock like vehicles or something so you don't have to just run the whole time. 
Okay. Where's that? That's what I want. That's a long way. But that's what we need, so let's do it. And I'm hoping that once I get my ship prepared, I can just fly it around the planet just to save time. Maybe this is just the beginning, wanting me to really figure out how to navigate, how all my stuff works, stuff like that. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Um, the booster pack has saved me quite a few times of me just running and just dropping off of a cliff. Oh, what's up, dude? Well. Oh, no. Uh oh. Pissed off the mom. Holy crap. Whoops. Look, that that one was on me. I should have left him alone. I hope I can scale the mountain. Ain't no mountain high enough. It's very interesting. What? Are you still... Back up, man. Okay. I don't think I can just scale this. Yeah, awesome. I'm in a valley. How about that? Alright, booster pack. Don't let me down. One, two, three. Lift! I need a lift. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that would have sucked. They're not messing around with the distance, I'll tell you that much. So I'm hoping for like a fast travel system. I'm hoping for being able to fix my stupid ship and then fly it around. I have no idea what my character even looks like. I haven't seen him or her or it. I could be an alien. I do like that not everything is destruction. You can kind of pick flowers and grab some stuff off some plants. It's kind of neat. This guy needs to work on his stamina game. Up and over. Let's go booster pack. I believe I can fly. Nice. That better be worth it, whatever this is. So again, um, the planet looks pretty cool. I mean, as far as like different plant life and animals, if you attack it, they will attack you or something bigger will attack you, which is kind of nice. If you destroy too much of the planet, uh, the planet sentry will come online and kind of take you to pieces, which is kind of neat. It's essentially the controls of any first person shooter that you've ever used in terms of the camera and your gun and running and stuff like that. All that is pretty, pretty basic. Can I run now? Okay, so it's right there. Uh, 
All right. You better yield me some good stuff. Hey, look. I guess that thing can fly. Oh, cool. What are you? Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just, you're new to me. What's up? A cow, mosquito, lizard thing? Man. Yikes. Oh, cool. I keep on seeing ships, but I don't know if it's like an NPC or like what it is. So, um, all right, there seems to be a big deposit. Save this real quick. Keep chugging along. All right, that's a, all right, so the there's the little flowers that had different isotopes in it, and then there's these giant deposits, which is kind of cool. Because if I need 200 of it, it would be nice if it was a giant block, like I'm seeing. Get my gat out. Well, let's do work. Oh, I thought that was going to be way harder to destroy. There's no way I'm not about to get attacked by the world. Is that enough? So 20 more. So what we need, no, alright, so zinc is all I need, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, so like I said, you will piss off the world, and understandably so, that's like, what are you going to do, you need your stuff, I mean, the animals, like, look pretty cool. Like, very alien planet-like. That's kind of neat. I need zinc. Show me zinc. All right. Um, we're going to cut it here. I'm going to go try to find zinc and some other stuff and see if I can get my ship up and running, and then we'll do some more videos. So um, thank you for the first kind of look at what we've done here so far in No Man's Sky. This is nothing. This is arguably, I'm not even out of the tutorial phase, so there's a lot to do, there's a lot to see, um, and I'm pretty excited to try it all. So thank you for watching, and um, we'll have a lot more videos all week, probably next week too. So uh, for all of us at Watch, Chat, Play, and Analog Addiction, my name is Devin, and thanks.